Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2021 tutorial. Today we're looking at basic shooting. So I'm going to be showing you how to aim, how to score more frequently. I'll be talking about things that influence your chances of missing and also aiming with the different camera settings. The first shot we're going to look at is a normal shot. Now if you're coming from FIFA, the key important thing to note is that you aim before you press the shoot button. Whereas in FIFA you can adjust the aim after you've pressed the shoot button so you can change your mind but in pez once you press that shoot button you're locked into that shot you're locked into where you're going to place it in the first place so make sure you're aiming before you press the shoot button this next shot is the called the finesse shot so this is where you hold your right trigger and press shoot and the finesse shot allows you to curl the ball this usually gives you greater accuracy but generally less power than a normal shot when it comes to power i would say around 50 percent for those shots inside the box and when i say power this isn't kicking power the power is all about the elevation so the more power you apply the higher the ball will go one of the secrets in pairs that you don't know about or aren't told about unless you play the game extensively is that if you receive the ball from an opponent whether it's a misplaced pass or it's bounced off their player this gives you greater shot accuracy and power for any first time shots or weak foot shots i'd always recommend using the finesse shot when it comes to volleys in pairs it's all about timing so don't press the shoot button too early or don't press it too late otherwise you may find your player missing the ball entirely when it comes to shooting body position is everything so if you look at all the shots beforehand they're mostly facing towards goal but with this long range finesse shot, look how I'm positioning my body because I want to generate that extra whip on the ball and bend it into the far corner. In this next clip, there's a lot going on. I send Martial on a player run and then I use super cancel to cut across the ball. If you've not seen my super cancel video, check it out. It's honestly, it's pretty awesome. And then double tapping sprint to cut across. And if you double tap sprint like this, where it sort of pushes the ball ahead of him, this will generate more power on your shots. So we looked at volleys before and let's take a look at this volley here just to see how late I'm pressing the shoot button. So it gives you an idea of when to press the shoot button. So if we just freeze it there, you can see the ball dropping over my shoulder and it's at that point I'm pressing the shoot button. There's four different ways to lob and chip a goalkeeper in Pez. But this is by far the most effective so let me just talk you through the steps and the reason it's so effective is it gets more height and dip than any other chip shot so hold your special controls button your player select button and press the shoot button and you want around 70 to 75 percent power just to get it up and over the goalkeeper next we're going to be looking at the dink chip this is where you close in on the goalkeeper wait until he makes his move and then just dink it over him so let's take a look at the steps so you want to be moving in on the goalkeeper, wait until he comes out. This is the sort of distance you need to look at. It's exactly the same buttons as before, special controls, shoot and the player select button. As for power, about 30-35% just to dink it over the goalkeeper. Now for the second secret. If a striker is under any physical contact from another player, then this has an impact in multiple different ways. It can lessen the kicking power, making the shot weaker, your power bar can fill up faster, often leading to shots over the bar, and it also can affect the shot accuracy, so you'll find that the shots are less accurate. When you are thrown goal, just remain extremely calm. Just watch how calm I am here, just dropping a body feint from the top three skills tutorial that I put out the other day before placing it into the bottom corner. So I'm just using Super Council here to put pressure on one player and then following through with Super Council just to intercept the pass. And then it's just a nice low finesse shot into the corner. When it comes to first touches in the box, check out my Super Council tutorial because that's exactly what you're seeing here. So watch activating Super Council just to spin the defender. So it allows you to turn quickly, get free. And like I said, avoid that physical contact before finishing into the back of the net. Basic shooting is the best in my opinion because it allows you access to dipping and rising shots and also the Poborski lob, which you can't do in manual or advanced shooting. And with basic shooting, you can actually enable manual shooting just by holding the left trigger. So I'm holding both the left trigger and the right trigger in this example because I want to produce a finesse shot. Manual shooting is all about the left stick. So whichever direction the left stick is pointing, that is where your shot will go. And you're also given a nice reminder that it is a manual shot when you press the power button you'll see the power bar is in orange the next secret it's not really a secret as such 
but basically always take a touch if you can because this will set the ball and give you far greater accuracy than striking the ball first time. Also try to avoid holding the sprint button down. Try to walk with the ball when you take your shot because this will increase your shot accuracy. Anyway, that's all from me, ladies and gents. Thank you for joining me in this basic shooting tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay safe. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.